Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be doing Merch by Amazon update number 22, where I talk about how we use the Merch Informer software. Alright, so this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be taking you guys on the screen so you guys can see my computer screen as I go through how we use the software Merch Informer. So if you've been watching the previous updates, we talked about how we're going from a method of just thinking of whatever ideas, not doing any research at all, and just creating the shirts and just putting them up and seeing if they sell. That was our method and that has brought us to the point where we are now. And you know, doing that method, it's got us to almost about a thousand dollars, almost very close. But now, you know, we are going to be switching gears. We're going to want to be thinking of niches to go after that have very little competition but have shirt sales. And the tool that we're going to be using is the Merch Informer software. So we've been using it for about two weeks, as I said, and we've generated some sales based off of the t-shirt ideas that we got from Merch Informer. So I'm just going to sign in here and show you how we use this tool. All right, so I've just logged in here. And if you guys are wanting to check out or try out the Merch Informer software after I'm done this tutorial, you can head down to the description below. There is a link to do a three day trial. You guys can test it out and try it out for yourself. So this is like the home page, and how we use this is when we sign in, we head over to the keyword finder, and then we go to search. Now we like to simplify things as you've seen, and we like things to just be basic and just be straightforward and as easy as possible when we're doing our Merch by Amazon business. So when we are coming up with like a keyword, we think of something general, very general. And I'm going to do the example of black cat. And this is something that I would type in. I would type in like black cat or cat with sunglasses or just like anything very just general and broad and random. So I'll type that in and what I'm doing is I'm going to type that into the Merch Informer software and this software is going to tell me, and I'll just scroll down here, it's going to tell me what people are typing in that's related to black cat. So as you scroll down here, you, you're going to see here black cat birthday, black cat Christmas, black cat earrings. I don't really pay attention to things that are related to something else. So if I see here earrings, I don't want to click on that and search that up because that has to do with earrings. I maybe will look at black cat eyes, black cat fireworks, black cat eye sunglasses. I'll maybe click on those. So from here, from typing in something that's general and let's go for black cat fireworks so we head over here to details and it's like a graph thing we click on that and then so you're gonna see some information about this keyword that is being typed into Amazon now what's cool is that black cat fireworks people on Amazon are typing that in. Now, that is very important because there are people who are actually searching for black cat fireworks. So if you go and make a t-shirt with black cat and fireworks and they type that in, you know, you'll have a greater chance of selling that shirt because you've given them a perfect match. So you'll see here in the details, what I like about this software is that it's got all the info right on here and I don't need to search through many different uh, windows like you could have like you could do the manual way and have like the Amazon uh, window open but then you wouldn't get an estimated monthly sales you wouldn't get a competition score and you would have to go on a separate website to check the trademark and uh, the keywords here so 
It says that this is safe, and it's through Trademarkia.com, I believe, and the competition score is A, which means that's good because there's not much competition, so you can get in the game, and it says here an estimated monthly sales volume of two. So when we see all those things, when we see trademark, checkmark, safe, when we see competition score A, when we see estimated monthly sales, like it actually has some, we'll go and create it. There's not much um, contemplating and debating whether we should do the shirt. We just, we just go and we create it and then we just move on to the next one. Another thing, if you want to go into more detail, is for Black Cat Fireworks, you type in product search and you click that and it's going to open a new tab for you, a new window. And then you click here search because it's going to bring that Black Cat Fireworks, click search. And it's going to show you the shirts that are under this category of Black Cat Fireworks. So you can see here it's related to 4th of July. So people are putting cats and 4th of July and the American flag together. Now you might be thinking, oh, that only has, that's a rank of whatever, 200,000, um, that has a rank of 300,000. And that is basically like our strategy. We go after the shirt ideas that no one else is going after so that the likelihood of us making a sale is greater. And this has been our strategy from the very beginning when we read a Neil's blog post. Neil is one of the co-creators of Merch Informer. We read his blog post before we were, before way before we even uh, knew about the software, we were, we read his blog post and uh, he was explaining a strategy of this strategy of going after shirts, uh, the smaller niches that don't have any competition at all and creating shirts for that instead of going after the ones that everyone else goes after. You can definitely do that, but just know that you can't solely rely on that because there's a lot of competition. There's people doing the exact same things. There's a lot more copycats and here it's just it's easier to get in the game and make more sales and I mean that's a strategy that we've been using and in less than a year we've got we've gotten it up to close to a thousand dollars a month and every month it's rising and rising and you know like yesterday we did like 12 t-shirt sales and it it's not like it's not rocket science as, as I tell people all the time when they ask me questions we just keep it simple, to be honest. So we would create a shirt on this uh, with Black Cat Fireworks. Let's let's go back and, and uh, look at a different one. Let's see here, Black Cat Eye Sunglasses. Let's click on the details for that. Okay, so the trademark check, it's safe. And here are the different types of keywords associated. This is an A, and this has a monthly estimated sales volume of seven. So that's even better because it's got an A, so there's not much competition, and the sales the sales are much higher than the, the previous two that we saw. So then we can click out of that. That is good. So now we want to check out the products. And from here, we, we check out the competition, and we don't copy people. Oh, sorry, I need to click search first forgot to do that. Click search. When we look at other people's shirts, we just think, how can we beat them in design? How can we make ours look better and or different? So these are the different type of cat shirts um, that are related to cat, what was it? Um, cat eye, black cat eye sunglasses. So these are the different designs and they have sales on them. And we would go in and create our version of black cat eye sunglasses. So once we've got an idea, we, we've checked everything and we're like, yep, we're going to create this shirt. We basically write it down on a Google Excel spreadsheet that is shared between my two other Merch by Amazon business partners. And then either Arit or I or our Upwork designer will create that design. So we do this, as you can see, it didn't take me very long to 
get some t-shirt ideas and this is literally what I do. I don't get too emotional. I don't get attached. I don't get frustrated. I just see, okay, that one's good. Yeah, that one can sell. Okay, check mark A, good to go. Let's move on to the next one. And that's pretty much what we do. And based on the results that we've getting, I believe that our method is working. So that is it for this video. I just wanted to share with you guys how we use the Merch Informer software. This is exactly how we use it. I'm not hiding anything or keeping anything from you guys. This is exactly how we use this software. So hopefully this helps. Please let me know if you have any questions. If you want me to go into any more detail, I'd be happy to. And if you are interested in the software, again, you guys can head down to the description below where there's a link for a three-day trial. All right, guys, well, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.